What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here and on today's video we're going to be going over to one of my buddy's house and we're going to be picking up a new fish. <laughs> I say fish because it's a fish. <laughs> we're going to be going and picking up a new freshwater stingray uh, for the aquarium. As you guys know, this is an ongoing thing. We're getting a 200, <laughs> 210 gallon aquarium very soon. Um, and we want to kind of have a nice set of stingrays in there. We already have two stingrays downstairs. One is Bill, the black diamond, and we also have Mindy, the marble Matoro. So we're gonna be going up and picking up a new black diamond today. So let's go ahead and take a ride. If you do like this video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. All right, guys, so just gonna do a quick voiceover for this part of the video. Uh, this here is my new female black diamond super white cross hybrid stingray. I know that's a mouthful, uh, but I'm actually gonna explain what that all means a little bit later on in this video. So be sure you're tuned in uh, to the end so you guys can actually see what that means. Uh, this is my buddy Larry's uh, albino pearl stingray. It's super awesome. Uh, whew, gorgeous, man. And this is actually the brother of the stingray that I picked up. As you guys can see, really cool patterns on the back. Uh, that's typically what the Super White Cross stingrays have. They have those really cool patterns, and they're nice big circles, uh, of the big white circles. Uh, and this, 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 this albino man, I, 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 I want one. I want to get one of those. They're, 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 they're definitely one of a kind. But uh, this, this stingray I picked up, like you can see, these really cool patterns on the back. Uh, she's probably about four inches in diameter or so, and I have some really awesome plans for this stingray and all the stingrays I do have currently in my fish room, which you're gonna see in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're actually home now. We got this stingray acclimating right now in the 125. Bioload wise in the 125, I was a little bit concerned. We did also just add in uh, this sponge filter, the aquarium co-op sponge filter, and it's actually been doing a really awesome job. Uh, I actually added this because I did used to have an air stone that used to be over here, but instead we went to a sponge filter for the added uh, biological filtration. But just also today, what I did was I added my four line catfish that was in my 125. I moved him over to this 40 gallon breeder and also that peacock bass in the back. Uh, that's the smallest of my peacock bass that I had in the 125. And to be honest with you, probably better off he got a little bit separated because he always got dominated uh, when it came to food uh, aggression and such from these other peacock bass. So um, probably better off that he's actually by himself so I can kind of like power feed him a little bit so he kind of catches up in size to these other two peacock bass. But very important, back to the stingray, very important when you're actually acclimating stingrays. Um, first and foremost, you want to make sure you're doing your temperature acclimation. Uh, but you also want to slowly acclimate them to the actual water that's inside of the tank. Uh, so what we're going to do is every couple, probably about every 20, 20 minutes or so, going to take a cup, add some of the tank water into this water so that the pH and the parameters and such of this tank gets used to for this, you know, for this ray. One thing to look out for is that, you know, the size of this stingray compared to the others. Um, to be honest with you, when I, thought, when I first saw this in, in the tank, I in the bag, I thought it was a little bit way, way, way smaller uh, than, like, let's say this black diamond. But it's actually not that bad. Um, we also have the Mini Marble Matora, like I said before. This one's right here. Um, she's really not looking that much bigger either. Um, probably only about two inches of difference. So not super, super different. Um, that, that's concerning. So we should be pretty good uh, when it comes to any sort of stingray aggression or anything along those lines. So the stingray has actually been acclimating now for probably about an hour or so, uh, kind of mixed up the water and everything inside of the, the bag here. So <laughs> the bag is kind of, as you can see here, very loaded up with the water. So definitely too too heavy to pick up. I'll probably rip the bag. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and net her out and uh, put her right into the tank. All right. Right into there. There she goes. So 
so she's a little bit smaller uh, than actually <laughs> she's a little bit bigger in the bag so here is the male uh, black diamond that I have um, and this is that new little female so I'm definitely gonna have to watch out just to make sure there's no um, aggression uh, towards her you know obviously making sure that she's safe in here she's right next to this female marble Matora right now and things are actually looking pretty good so no one's really you know bothering her so it's actually been about a week and a half since I actually picked up this Stingray. And I do just want to let you guys know that this is a variant of a Black Diamond Stingray. Not many people know this, but there's actually many different types of variants of Black Diamond Stingrays. There's your Black Diamond Stingray. There's your Super Cross Black Diamond Stingray. Um, typically what they'll have is much larger spots on them uh, with much shorter tails. Uh, that's typically what's desired in a super cross stingray, but obviously there's different types of variations inside of that as well. Then there's this type of stingray, which is a super cross hybrid with your standard uh, black diamond stingray. So it's a completely awesome ray. Let's go check out and uh, the stingrays and I'll show you guys what I mean. So there, <laughs> there is the new uh, female black diamond that we got. Uh, she's chilling right over there, right behind this datnoid right now. But you can see her spots are very large for her size. This mini marble Matora right next to her is about double the size, and her spots are almost the same size as her. Uh, now check out that compared to this. This is, I believe, just a standard black diamond stingray right here. And the reason why you can say that is because of the tail. Typically, black diamond stingray standard, quote unquote, black diamond stingrays will have that wide tail at the back. Uh, this guy has that. Um, and you know his spots are pretty standard for for you know his spots are actually just about the same size as this little female over here. So it's definitely pretty awesome, guys. I'm very happy with this black diamond stingray. I was a little bit afraid putting her into this aquarium just because of the size, but she's eating very well. She's eating Hikari carnivore pellets. Um, she was pellet trained when she grew up. So she's accepting pellets a lot. And me personally, I love it when my black, when my, any of my stingrays um, eat a cor of any type of pellets because it's a lot easier to feed, typically a little bit cheaper too. Um, there's a lot of nutritional value in there. I'm not, I do feed it a lot. Um, you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I actually feed a lot of scallops and tilapia to my fish. I'm actually toning it down. Even these peacock bass here, uh, they're actually beginning to eat a lot of pellets and stuff. So. Definitely toning it down. It mucks up the water a lot. There's a lot of salinity that kind of comes out of it. Um, it kind of clouds up the water and you need to do a lot of water changes when doing scallops, tilapia, shrimp, things like that. So pellets are good. Pellets are good. If you guys want to see any more content about stingrays, um, I have actually made a care guide video on a Wild Fish Tanks channel, uh, Ryan over at Wild Fish Tanks. Um, I made a care guide, but I can definitely make a new video for an update for that posted here on my channel. I'm really happy with this stingray. We got three stingrays now inside of this aquarium, and they're they're just really just, they're killing it, man. They're killing it. There's a lot of fish inside this aquarium right now, and the reason why is because we're getting that 210 gallon aquarium. So if you guys do wanna see what I do with that aquarium, and also see me kinda get it, bring it down here, and I'm definitely gonna be making some changes um, over to this fish room. Be sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the other content that I come out with when actually uh, making these changes to this fish room and seeing what we're gonna do with these stingrays. But that's gonna be it for this video. So if you guys did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.